Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather and this is the Fluffy Oracle. If you're new here and you're just finding me for the first time, please feel free to go ahead and consider subscribing to us if you like my videos. I also have a playlist generated to all of my pick a card videos in case you want to check out any other videos that you might feel drawn to. This reading today is going to be all about where you are on your current life path and also some guidance to help you to have some success with getting past some of the blocks that you might be having at this current time. I also have some affiliate links down below for all the decks that I use in every single one of my readings in case you would like to check them out or purchase them and add to your wonderful tarot and oracle card collections. For the first pile, we have the Outer Space Vodka Bottle with the Alien Head. We have for pile number two, the Ka Tequila Black Skull Bottle. And then for pile number three, we have the Ocean Organic Bottle. Vodka bottle, a little <laughs> tongue tied there because there's lots of bottle, lots of bottles. Yeah, I can't even speak anymore with that. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> timestamps will also be down below in the description box for your convenience to jump around to pick whichever pile that you would like, and as well as in the first comment from my mobile users to be able to click on a link so that you can jump to your pile. So without further ado, I am going to go ahead and jump right in, and. If you need any extra time, please feel free to go ahead and pause the video now. And I would also like to say thank you so much for all those who have booked with me lately and for all the donations that you guys have sent me. You guys have been truly amazing and a wonderful blessing for me. Also, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, I will have all the information down below in the description box, as well as there is a community post with all my rates and prices and for all the readings that I have available currently. Alrighty, so without further ado, I will see you at your pile in just a sec. Alrighty, so for my loves, I chose the Alien Outer Space Vodka Bottle. Let's see what we get. These cards right here are all tarot cards for what you're currently going through as an overview of your situation and possibly any blockages. These over here are going to be an expansion of these cards right here. And to see where we can head in whatever direction that we might possibly need to. These down here are going to be overall guidance and some extra advice for other things that may help you get through these blockages as well. And as well as just general overall guidance for the entire reading. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what we have. So for the smaller tarot cards, that's who we have. We have the Three of Air, which is the Three of Swords in this deck, but it's not depicted as a normal one. He looks more like he's learning. Like, I, what I get from this, I feel like you are learning and especially learning from whatever mistakes you may have made in the past over time. And it has also made you a wiser person is what I get from this card. The reason I say the past is because I'm really attracted to the skull in this. And for me, it's kind of like almost like the death card. Things that no longer serve you, falling away, that type of thing. But I feel like you're also taking into account of things that have happened and keeping yourself under lock and key because I'm really attracted to the key in this and the book for me is you are pretty much doing a review on everything that's just happened and trying to figure out where things may have went wrong and what you can possibly do to move forward and to regain your uh, personal strength. Then we have Desire. This tarot deck isn't exactly the normal it's got some normal, some not, because it's got some extra added cards, because it's a wonderful, beautiful deck, but that deck will be down below. It is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot, which is absolutely a beautiful deck. I love the images in this. But anyways, for Desire, I feel like you have a lot of choices because you desire and wish for quite a lot, especially expansion, strength, and knowledge with growth. But I feel like you've been a little bit stubborn about things and kind of unable to see um, where your intuition is trying to exactly guide you because you've had your mind on so many different things, especially when you meditate, you have a tendency to drift off. Instead of focusing on just one thing, you tend to focus on everything and you get a little bit clouded is what I get from this. Then we have the nine of water. So this will be the nine of cups in this deck. But with this, I feel like you are being emotionally fulfilled. And that is what you absolutely most desire as well, because I feel like 
I have a feeling of desire with this, but I feel like there is going to be a flood of emotion and desire that's finally coming in for you and finally helping you to be able to open up emotionally and to also regain any strength that you may um, need with the Ace of Fire for some new beginnings with growth and expansion because everything is connected, I feel, for you. And I feel like you've been seeing also a lot of synchronicities as well, which are um, helping you generate a lot of creative ideas at this time during your uh, current situation in your life, which is absolutely wonderful and amazing. But remember to pay attention to all the little details as well and not overlook anything already. And that will have help you to have the most growth and expansion possible. Alrighty. So let's see what else we get. We have the hanging man. So for the hangman, I feel like you're in a time of kind of limbo where you're trying to be able to see the higher um, perspective of things, but you also feel very stuck while being in this limbo. And I feel like you've been trying to do different kinds of crystal meditations in order to get out of this limbo. And then we have the Ace of uh, Flames, which is the Ace of Wands. So we have double Ace of Wands <laughs> with this. So it's kind of an extra confirmation with lots and lots of creativity and new beginnings coming in for you. And I feel like you are definitely going to be able to light your way and see the path forward soon and be able to get out of these clouds and kind of like distorted kind of... um mindedness like you have like clouded mind clouded judgment is what i'm getting with this and then we have the seven of crystals which in this deck is the seven of pentacles a lot of um growth and expansion is um happening for you even though it's very slow growth and you're still being um very precise and watching over everything with kind of like a fine tooth comb which is fine paying attention to the little details is kind of most needed at this time but don't over analyze try not to overthink things Alrighty. so let's get some expansion with the guidance cards we have opening to love my heart is open so with this opening to love you're being asked to kind of go with the flow especially if there's a new relationship that's beginning for you at this time and I feel like opening your heart is going to be most needed in order for you to move forward and go with this flow with this new relationship. And then we have giving birth. I am bringing forth new and dramatic, or excuse me, dynamic energy into the world. So dramatic, for me to say dramatic, I feel like there's been quite the overthinking of things and kind of having your mind scattered all at once with trying to bring about these new ideas and bring them into fruition and manifestation, even though there's a lot of growth taking place at this time. So taking the time now to have this steady, slow pace of growth is what's most needed. And it'll also help you have a more peace, um, peaceful set of mind. And I feel like it'll also help you during dream time. Like I feel like you've been getting ideas and messages during dream time with giving you these new wonderful ideas and giving birth to them. Then we have trusting your intuition. My life is truly guided. So where is it? When I mentioned the key to this, I feel like you've been um, looking towards the past as well with this to have the key to open up the future and to finally be able to move forward on a new path. And your intuition is definitely key, and it's definitely guiding you in the right direction. But it's also asking you to go with the flow with everything. Alrighty. We have inspiration. I am receiving divine inspiration right now. So your guides and angels and the divine and the universe have been all trying to get your attention, especially with repeating numbers and patterns or different like uh, people's names symbols you've been seeing something repetitively and i feel like it's trying to get you to go in that direction and it's giving you kind of like almost like a subliminal inspiration with your ideas and being able to um go forward with them and then we have beginnings lots and lots of new beginnings are coming in for you 
or about to. And then it says, I cherish all my, all the cycles in my life. So with this, it's just going with the flow and seeing where things bring you in order to bring about these new beginnings for you. And then we have abundance. Once these new beginnings come in, I feel that you will have a quite overabundance of a lot of things that you really weren't expecting to come through for you. And I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of prosperity and happiness. The card reads, all my needs are met above and beyond my greatest expectations. So as I was just saying, an overabundance of things that you really didn't see coming. I feel once these new beginnings uh, take place, begin to take place. So we have solitude. In silence, peace prevails. So going within and thinking about a lot of things and prioritizing is what's also most needed. And I feel like when you go within to uh, meditation, you're getting a lot of guidance as well from your intuition as well as your guides. And they're kind of like whispering in your ears, especially for those who are clairaudient. I feel like you've been hearing them a bit more and that um, your clairaudience is beginning to open up quite a bit more and you're not exactly sure exactly what you're hearing but try and pay attention to whatever it is that you are hearing if you have to try and write down the messages that you're getting even if it's just bits and pieces it'll begin to make sense over time once you begin to write um begin to write those things down and then we have stepping into power you are strong beyond measure so with this i feel like you are definitely treading an unknown path but even within all this fogginess and haze and dark, you are still lighting the way just as easily. Alrighty. So continue on following your int intuition because it's definitely lighting the path for you. And then we have transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. So this is a phoenix. I absolutely love the, the uh, phoenix birds. And it's also kind of on my arm as a tattoo. <laughs> And my tattoo reads uh, Perseveranza, which means perseverance in Italian. Because I've quite literally been through hell and back with a lot of things in my life. And has brought me great transformation. So whatever no longer serves you is going to be falling away into the ashes. And transforming you into a brand new person. And basically a rising phoenix is what I get with this. So let's see what your extra guidance is for the overall for the entire reading. I'll move some of these out of the way. So we have release toxic relationships. So definitely releasing things that no longer serve you is what's most called for. And then we have you are never alone. Please don't feel like you were alone because I myself am here just as much to listen to you guys. So if you guys need any extra help or whatever questions, drop them down below in my comments. Email me, book a personal private reading with me and I can do a lot to help you. But know that you are never alone. There's tons of us here on YouTube to help you with readers and people who know tons and tons about ascension and all different kinds of things with uh, spirituality, as well as what I've mentioned in my previous videos with the knowing your truest, um, revealing your truest self. And then we have be yourself. Be a Don't be afraid to be yourself. Be authentic and be transparent with yourself as well as with others and don't hold back because that's how you know who who's really meant to be in your life and who isn't because if they don't like you for the person that you really are and for being yourself then they aren't for you they aren't meant for you they are meant to fall away and just teach you a quick lesson and poof be gone and then we have worry is a wasted emotion don't worry about what other th others think or feel about you worry about how you feel, and where your next move is going to be so that you can continue forward. But don't worry too much because it's definitely a wasted emotion, especially if it makes you feel guilty about certain things. Don't feel guilty for being selfish and don't feel guilty for being yourself and doing what you need to do for yourself in order to move forward. Alrighty? Make you a priority. If you have kids, then I understand because I have kids too, but... Most of all, try and make yourself a high priority in your life. And don't feel, feel bad about doing it either. Feel joy in all you do. So take passion and pride in everything that you do and all that you are is what I get with this. We have humor. 
I choose to focus on a lighter side of life. So see the brighter things in life and kind of try and smile or laugh and f be a little bit lighthearted with things and see the humor in the situations. And I guarantee you, you will have probably one of the best laughs ever once you start doing that. <laughs> I know I have. It's, it's silly, but it's true. We have friendship. I understand that a friend am, is in my life for a reason. So learn from those around you, especially those who are falling away from you. Figure out what the lessons that they were there to teach you and build on those. Learn, build, and grow with those. Alrighty? And I also feel like once those people fall away, you will have new and more meaningful beginnings in friendship and also relationships with others as well that are meant to be for you and who are on your vibrational level. Alrighty. And then we have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So look at things from a higher perspective. Try and view people from a higher perspective and whatever situations that you're having with them. And try and see things from all different angles. And I feel it will have you or help you to have a more broad spectrum and open mind to things and be able to see their po different points of view and understand things a little bit easier. So these are your messages. I do hope that they resonated and that they helped you. And I will see you guys next video. Thanks and have a blessed one. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the tequila bottle, let's see what we get. These cards right here are a tarot view of the overview of your entire situation that's going on right now. These are going to be an expansion for what's going on with you and it'll also help you possibly dissolve any blocks that might be hindering you right now. And then these are going to be some general overall guidance for the entire reading. So let's jump right in and see what we have with the smaller tarot cards. So we have the Ten of Fire. So with the Ten of Wands, I feel like you've been working really hard on trying to get back into alignment with your greatest and highest good, and especially with aligning your chakras and healing your chakras in order to be able to have that divine alignment and to be able to have complete clarity throughout your entire bodies with your meditations. But I feel like you've done quite a lot of work and it's definitely coming full force for you and being able to open up and clear everything out. And I feel like these fires are definitely burning passion in order to get everything right and open. Then we have the <clears throat> the Ace of Air, which is the basically the Ace of Swords. So with this, I feel like having a clear and concise mindset and making this decision to really buckle up, buckle down and get into it with your meditations and clearing out your chakras and um, blowing them out and getting rid of any old blockages is definitely helping you. And I feel like you've made the right decision in order to do this with bringing yourself back into your greatest and highest alignment as well with being able to stay in tune with spirit and the divine and with your intuition and being able to hear it a little bit, um, well, a lot more louder and a lot more clearer. Then we have the, <clears throat> the ace of earth. Sorry, I have a dry throat and it's kind of catchy and I don't want to cough. <laughs> but anyways, ace of earth. So with the ace of pentacles in this deck, I feel it's very heart-based energy and I feel like you had a lot of growth in your heart chakra and a lot of expansion with it. And I feel like you've cleared it out quite a bit in order to open it up to some new love coming in as well and being able to kind of like open your heart and to be able to share more love with those around you and be more open to it. And I feel like it's definitely had a lot of growth and expansion for you. And then we have the journey. So with this, it's not a normal tarot card in this, but for me, it's kind of like a fool energy, but not. I feel like it's half fool, half magician with this. And I feel like you have two paths to take and you're trying to make that ultimate decision as to which way to go. But I also feel like you have a great sense of balance with this between light and dark and trying to kind of overcome your shadow aspects and have had quite a lot of transition with figuring out your shadow aspects and transforming them into the light. So let's see what else we get with the other tarot cards. 
we have higher self. I feel like you've definitely brought yourself back into alignment and been able to connect more with your higher self with all of this transformation that you've been undergoing, especially intuitively. And I feel like you, some of you, I feel like have gone into the Akashic records because I'm looking at this scroll here and I feel like you've become so in alignment that you've been able to tap into the Akashic records and to take a look at your past and your futures. And I also feel like for some of you who haven't attained that yet, I feel like you will soon. And that that has been kind of like a goal of yours to kind of tap in into your highest self and also to possibly kind of check out the Akashic records. That is a very difficult thing to do, but there's a bunch of books out there that could help you. Oh, excuse me. And we have Seeker of Orbs. So with this, I feel like... The orbs in this I f are um, supposed to be, I believe they're the cup suit in this deck, if I'm correct. So it's kind of like the page of cups. And with the orbs and the fact that she's seeking it out, she's following her divine guidance and her heart. And I feel like she's been listening to it quite intently and following all of the heart-based energy with the heart chakra because I'm really attracted to how green this orb is. And I feel like, what else am I getting from this? I feel like it's been, it's definitely been a light in the dark that's been guiding you. And I feel like it's caused you to have a lot of emotional expansion and a lot of um, emotional release as well. And I feel like that you are definitely headed in the right direction with it especially by um, being curious about it and trying to see where it's taking you and figuring everything out. And then we have reason. I feel like you've definitely mastered a lot of things in spirituality and understand, and you finally understand quite a bit about what's going on with you and who you are as an individual. And you definitely feel like an old soul to me for some of you out there that are watching this. And I feel like you've mastered quite a bit of things in your lifetime that have helped you have have that deep inner knowing of an understanding of everything that goes on around you as well as within you so let's see what the other guidance cards are we have revealing radiance my light illuminates the world i feel like you've been able to open up and expand and be able to shine your light out and go on within in order to find this um, absolute hidden treasure that was deep within you that you probably knew you had, but you hadn't been able to actually access it until now. And I feel like you've been able to finally open it up and finally step into your greatest and highest alignment and power. So good job on all that work. And we have standing firm. I am noble, brave, and strong. So with this, I feel like your perseverance is definitely paying off with this. And I feel like it's definitely put you in quite the um, taking back your self power as well. And then it says healing the past. I step into my future with strength and clarity. So with this, I feel like you've definitely had a lot, a lot of growth and a lot of healing that's taken place over the past year from 2018 till now. And I feel like there's still a lot of growth to come yet for you and some more expansion as well. We have Voyage. I am safe and love no, <clears throat> no matter where I am. I feel like definitely going with the flow is what you've been doing. And I feel like if you continue on with this, you will definitely get to exactly where it is that you want to be. And you will have um, that completion and expansion with aligning yourself with your chakras, like I had said in the beginning. And then we have awakening. I am joyously awake and aware and ready for anything. I feel like this whole awakening process has been an absolute mind-blowing and eye-opening expansion for you and a lot of transformation and growth. Because you were finally able to heal a lot of your past life um, issues, especially with those going into the, into the Akashic Records, I feel like you've been doing a lot of healing work with that, especially with your past lives. And then we have commitment. My commitment increases my joy and freedom. 
so with this, I feel like you've been very dedicated to this and all your dedication to this has absolutely been immense and very powerful. And I feel like you've had a new discovery with self-love and self-respect as well with this and that you are committing to your growth and expansion so much that you have stepped fully into your power and finally taken back control of your heart and know exactly what it is you want and where you're headed. Then we have wandering path. Enjoy the journey. So definitely it's the journey that it takes to get there, but don't let others hinder you. Do not let them pull the wool over your eyes. Do not let them talk you out of anything. In fact, if you have to just keep your thoughts and plans to yourself, that way you can do what you need to do and no one will fault you or doubt you or try and talk you out of it and knock you out of your highest alignment. And yes, I heard the swipe or no swipey thing because all I could think about is Dora the Explorer with this card with the map, the compass, <laughs> and the fox, and the trail. <laughs> oh my god, every time I see this card, I've, I hear no swipe or no swipey. Thanks a lot, kids. <laughs> My kids used to watch Dora the Explorer all the time. <laughs> but anyway, we have joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. So with this, I feel like everything has brought you great happiness lately and that you are absolutely enjoying this um, ascension and awakening journey that you've been on and that has brought you a lot of joy and delight with everything that's been going on. And I feel like your guides and angels are rejoicing for you and absolutely elated and happy for you for all the um growth and expansion that you've had and then we have unknown territory you are exactly where you need to be i feel like your guides and angels that have been watching over you and your ancestors that have also been with you are helping guiding you on this unknown territory because they understand that it's all new to you even though they're on the other side watching you from there and know exactly where it is that you're headed and have been there and been through this journey as well. I feel like they are there rooting for you and right behind you and helping to push you along this uncharted territory. And helping you to finally understand it all and have the wisdom and the knowledge that you've been absolutely seeking. Alrighty. So let's see what we have for the guidance for the overall, for the entire reading. And what other messages spirit may have for you. So we have never judge another. So try and remain open hearted and open minded is what they're asking you with this card. Don't relinquish your power. You've done so much work to get it all back. Don't give it up now. Don't give up the fight. Continue to keep going and flourishing. Focus on the positive. Positive affirmations, positive mindset will help keep you going and keep you rejuvenated. Give without expectation. So with this, I feel like give a little, but don't expect a return. Like, all right, that didn't come out right. All right. So what I'm saying is to give, but without expectation of getting something in return for whatever it is that you give or share. Because I feel like the return on that is something that you wouldn't expect or see coming because I feel like it's more how you would feel inside rather than a physic a physical monetary type of um return or expectation to be given back to you. I feel like if you've been able to say give someone five dollars that bought them a meal because they're homeless and on the street, for example, the return expectation of that will be the joy and immense happiness that you feel inside knowing that you did something good for someone else is what I feel but don't expect it in return don't expect to feel something right away because I feel like when you expect something it doesn't seem to come out the way you want it to and it comes out as a disappointment instead of coming back to you um later on as a tenfold karmic um gift so to speak so give without expectation then we have lead by example. What I hear from this is do unto others as um, you would expect them to do unto you. Alrighty. 
for me, that's something that my grandfather used to say a lot when I was a kid is do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. And it's also an, a kind of like a Bible quote thing. I'm not exactly sure exactly where, but it's something that I've always believed in. I treat others as I would want to be treated. Sometimes I can be way too nice and way too kind and still get treated like absolute shit. But you know what? I stayed true to myself. I still treated them as I would hope to have been treated, but I also do it without expectation. Because I know everyone has their own free will and their own mindset. And they're going to do what they want to do anyway. I just hope that they are the bigger, better person inside that they perceive. I perceive them to be because I expect the best from everyone else. And I have... I see the potential in everybody else is what I'm trying to say. So, but anyways, we have regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So live without regrets. No matter what happens, keep going, pick your head up, dust yourself off and keep going. There's no time for that, for regretting. Okay, well, I should have did this or I should have did that. That holds you back and gives you a blockage. And then we have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So with this, I feel like having that attitude of gratitude and being thankful for each and every day and each and everything that ever happens, including the people that piss you off and annoy you or upset you and break your heart. Be thankful for them and their lessons that they've taught you because they've just opened you up for something bigger and better to come in. Even though it may not seem like it at the time, that's what they've just done for you. Then we have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So live without regrets. Let things go that no longer serve you. And that will help you to continue forward on this journey. Alrighty. So these are your messages. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading and that they resonated. And remember to take what does and whatever doesn't. Leave it on the floor. And I will see you guys next video. Thanks and have a blessed one. Alrighty, so for my loves that chose the ocean organic vodka, how the heck can organic vodka, how can there be an organic vodka? Like, really? H how does that work? <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, I'm not even going to worry about it. It was just a thought that always pops into my head, like, how is vodka organic? <laughs> but anyway, these, tar these tarot cards right here are going to be an overview look at your current situation and to let us know what exactly is going on and whatever blockages might possibly be there. These are going to be an expansion of these cards for some guidance and some help with that. And then these cards down here are gonna be some overall guidance for the entire reading. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what these cards are. So for the smaller tarot cards, we have the King of Earth. So with this, I feel like, <sighs> For the King of Earth would be King of Pentacles. So I feel like you've definitely had quite some um, maturing and wherewithal with coming into your financial own. And I feel like there's been a lot of growth and expansion with that as well. And I feel like you've had a clearer understanding of exactly where it is you want to head with um, your career and your actual um, current path that you're on right now. And then we have the five of earth, which the five of earth is supposed to be kind of like the five of pentacles. But I feel like with this, I, with this, I feel like you've been very stingy, especially with coming into this king of earth with that kind of growth. And I feel like if you've been in a relationship, you've kind of been neglecting your partner a little bit because she's kind of in the background, a little bit sad and depressed. And I feel like you need to have had a little bit more um, give and take rather than just taking and seeking only for yourself. And I feel like this has also hindered a lot of growth for you as well. And then I also feel like if this is vice versa, I feel like you've got a man in your life that's just gimme, gimme, gimme and blowing everything. And if they have a really bad gambling habit because I'm really drawn to these cards and that's what I keep getting is a gambling habit somebody needs to uh have a little chit chat and sit down and figure out you know where it is that they want to actually be and figure out what it is that they want to do especially if you're in a relationship with this person you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them and set the record straight like listen 
I've given you my heart and soul and just give, give, give. And all you've done is take, take, take. And I can't do this anymore is what I feel. And I feel like you need to get out of this slump and take back your power and your control instead of letting this person run you into the ground. So we have body and mind. So with this, it's another air card. But with the bot, it's supposed to be the 11 of air in this deck, but there's no such thing in the tarot, but whatever. With this, I feel like it's a head over heart decision that needs to be made right now, especially if you're in a relationship with this person that's just using you and just is a total dick. Sorry. I don't like when men use other or when people use others in a relationship for every penny and just kind of taking advantage of them. I really don't. I'm sorry. I just call it as I see it. I also feel like there's a duality aspect to this because I'm attracted to the two masks in this. You need to figure out which mask it is that you want to put on and don that and then step into that power. Whether it's heart or mind based, pick one. But you got to make a decision in order to regain your power and your strength back. And you got to decide, do I want to continue with this asshole, you know, sucking the life out of me? Or do I want to step up and move on and have bigger and better things come in for me? Alrighty. Then we have love. I feel like once you've been able to make this decision and get rid of this loser. Sorry, I'm just, I'm a little angry because it kind of frustrated me because I can feel your frustration and your anger and your hurt and your pain with this, with this relationship with this person. I feel like there's something better out there for you and I feel like they are definitely coming in for you very soon and I feel like once you've made that decision that person will pop right up out of the blue when you least expect it and you will have a more fulfilling relationship than you've ever had in your entire life is what I get with this. This is part of your life purpose and I feel like it's divinely being done for you because I feel like your guys and angels are tired of you sitting there getting used and played and they want to see you transform into this beautiful, loving person that they know that you are. Alrighty? They want to see you flourish instead of sitting there heartbroken and just a shadow of your former self. Because they know that you're a beautiful individual. And we have transition. Step into the light. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, that's exactly what I heard is step into the light. Step into your power. Wake up. Smell the coffee. Let's move on because you're making this transition and it needs to be made so that you aren't sit here, sitting here lifeless and feeling down in the dumps all the time. Wake up and take, you know, your power back and live your purpose. We have eight of orbs. So in this deck, it is the eight of cups. Orbs are the cups in this. I believe it's cups. I'm not sure. But either way, it makes me feel like an eight of no, this is, hmm, orbs might be swords because I'm feeling like an eight of swords energy because she's kind of trapped with this. Sorry, guys. So with this, I feel like you can get out of this, even though you feel very trapped right now, you can have the, cho you have the choice and you have the ability to reach up and pull that blindfold down so you can see exactly what's going on and where you are with this situation and then you have the strength and energy once you've taken off this blindfold take all these branches off and get rid of them and step out and get away from that situation but it's your choice all this these orbs around you are a figment of your imagination you aren't really trapped you're just mentally trapped because it's your thoughts that are keeping you there and holding you there and going, well, I did X, Y, Z, and Z for this person. Where's my payoff? Doesn't matter where your payoff is. There's holes in you. There's not going to be a payoff. I'm sorry. Because you have to step back into your power and you have to take this back and you have to take and free yourself from any toxic energy and toxic person that's just sucking the life out of you. Because how else do you expect to, you know, move forward and get past this type of situation. I understand that it can be very hard. And very daunting. 
especially if there's legal matters, if you're in a marriage. But it is what it is at the end of the day. You have resources. You can ask for help. You can call out and see if someone will hear you. Because what if there is someone around you that could help you? Even if you don't know them, what if there is? You have to take that chance. It all comes down to what exactly it is that you want. Do you want to stay there and not receive the love and, you know, respect that you so rightfully deserve? Or do you want to, you know, take it back? Quit fighting losing battle because we have the five of orbs with this. This person has become so greedy that they have everything. They, you've given them everything. <laughs> And they haven't given you anything. And it's kind of like, okay, well, I have it all. You don't need anything. I'm good here. And they're greedy. And I feel like it also makes you envious and jealous of them for doing this to you. But it also clouds your mind and keeps you trapped. Because they've pretty much gaslighted you. And I feel like this is also a narcissistic energy. So let's see what we can do to get you out of this situation, even if it's on your own and you have like no one that you can possibly think of to help you. Because I know a lot of you are in that type of situation where it's like, well, I don't know anybody. I don't have anybody. Yes, you do. You have yourself and there are others out there. So know that you are protected, especially by your um by Archangel Michael and your guardian angels. All you have to do is ask for their help. I know that sometimes when we pray and ask and ask and ask, sometimes we don't see the help when it's coming and right in front of our face because we've kind of like convinced ourselves that there's nothing there. There's nobody that's coming to help us. There's nobody that's going to save us. Yes, there is. It's up to you to make that choice to see it and to go for it. It says you are cherished by the angels, by the way, for those who like when I read the cards. We have vast vistas. Expand your horizons. Think outside the box is clearly what I just got with this. Step outside your comfort zone. I know it's going to be a pain in the ass and it's going to be a bitch. But sometimes it is what it is and it's most necessary in order to sail away into the um, horizon and have your happily ever after. Even if you have to leave with nothing. I understand exactly how hard that is. Believe you me, I really do. And I've pulled myself back from nothing. I promise you, it's doable. Material things can be replaced. It just takes time. Breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. I feel like you're going to have that one day where it's going to be enough is enough. And you're going to break and you're going to be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. I'm out. And you're just going to walk away. I feel like that moment's definitely coming for you. Sooner or later, it's going to happen. But I feel like it's going to be an absolute epiphany and eye-opening um, moment for you. And it's going to propel you into the most biggest adventure you've ever had in your entire life. Because from starting from scratch, yeah, that's one hell of a journey. I promise you that. We have wonderful new experiences fill my life. Your life is what you make it. I feel like there's definitely a lot of good out there that you can definitely do for yourself. Especially with this new adventure that you'll be embarking on. Even if it is starting from scratch, I feel like... You will achieve a lot of things that you never thought were possible. And in a really fast amount of time. We have miracles. My life is a miracle. I feel like once you're able to break free, that everything is just going to fall into place for you as if it was a miracle. Alrighty. And then we have freedom. Because once you've broken free from this, whatever this is that's got you trapped in this relationship... You are going to feel an endless, boundless amount of freedom. And it says boundless freedom surges through me. And I feel like it's going to feel so good that it's just going to make you feel like you're just going a mile a minute. Because I feel like that's how fast things are going to fall into place for you. To help you bounce back. We have fulfillment. Joy abounds in all areas of my life. So with this, I feel like See the joy in everything, even if it's shitty. Look for the good, greater good in it, alrighty? And I also feel like being grateful for these lessons has taught you quite a bit of skill in order to propel you into this and actually help you get ahead. 
we have coming into power. I step into my power boldly and confidently. Once you're free and you're on your own doing your own thing and you've taken back your power, I feel like it's going to give you this newfound confidence in order to stand on your own two feet without having to worry about anybody mooching or leeching off of you. Embarking on an adventure. I savor the wonders of the world. So with this, I feel like this new adventure that you're going to be um, and this breaking free is going to help you to move on into your own place, maybe even a new city and starting over and finally feeling freedom from this person or this thing or relationship or whatever it is that has you feeling trapped. Then we have igniting courage. I am strong, valiant, and courageous. So with this, I feel like you definitely will have the strength and the courage to do this, and it will propel you absolutely 10 times forward. And you have a lot of great success with this. So let's get some overall guidance for the entire reading. Possess self-confidence. So with this, you have it. You just got to see it and believe it in yourself and have faith and trust in yourself that you have this confidence. And once you're free, you will definitely see it and you'll feel it. Forgive yourself. Do not beat yourself up for getting yourself into something that you had no idea was coming. It wasn't your fault. Remember that. So forgive yourself and move on. Learn the lessons of, okay, well, now I know what, you know, to look out for. And just keep going. Make each day count. Live it like it's your last and have a blast is what I get from this. And enjoy each and every moment that you have with your loved ones. Journey within. So it's going to take a lot of going within and figuring out exactly what it is that you want and how you want to go about it and, you know, healing from within as well is what I get from this. All right. And then we have appreciate your talents. You are definitely talented and smart and beautiful and kind. See it, live it, breathe it, be it. That's how I feel with this card. All right. And we have love. I commit, <clears throat> I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So with this, I feel like a lot of self-love. Love yourself before you even think about loving anyone else once you're finally free. And I feel like a lot of self-love is going to be able to um, help you through this and help you regain the strength and confidence that you need. And then we have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world. And I do so without judgment. Don't be so harsh on yourself. And balance yourself with your heart and your mind. And I feel like it'll help you have perfect harmony. And it'll help you have all the growth that you need because we have growth. And it says, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So once you're able to have that perfect balance of head and mind and knowing what exactly it is that you want and going for it and accomplishing it, I feel like you will have tremendous growth and you will have actually been able to see it every step of the way instead of being able to see it in hindsight. So... These are your messages. I do hope that they resonated and I wish you much love and light and I give you lots of love and joy and abundance your way and that is what I wish for you. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading and I will see you guys next video. Have a blessed one.